Hi guys, it is Tina and welcome back. I hope you've had all, oh, <clears throat> need to start again. Hope you've all had a really, really good week and with these eyebrows, aren't they fabulous? Mmm. Okay. Um, I am a little bit late this week. This is my week, ooh, week 20. Which means I am now six months out, and um, I was at the doctors all day today. I had four doctors' appointments to see them: my psychologist, my surgeon, my actual endocrinologist doctor, and um, the dietitian. And they're all really, really happy with me. Um, yeah, they just they sort of said that I look amazing. I look great and I'm doing really well and I'm losing a good amount of weight and a good amount of time. Um, I will start by telling you my stats. My stats. My, I am 48 years old. My name is Tina. I had a vertical sleeve gastrectomy on the 19th of August 2016 with the EPA Endocrinology Clinic. Um, I had it at the QE2 because the PA doesn't do the actual surgeries there at the moment, but they're planning on doing them. <coughs> and I was one of the first people to actually be done for the, the gastric sleeve. So, okay, and mm, I am a mother of five, seven if you count my two stepchildren, which I do. Um, and yeah, you can see, see that there? That's a cold sore. Don't ask me how that happened, but anyway. All right, so starting, my highest weight was 157.6 kilograms, which is 374 pounds for the Americans. My pre-op diet rate was 134.7 kilos, and that is 296 pounds. My surgery day weight was 127 kilograms, which is 226 pounds. And something going on here because I've lost more than 14 pounds, but anyway. Uh, my current weight is 96.5 kilograms and that is 200, it says it's 212 pounds, so I, I don't, I don't really know, but anyway, um, my, hmm, a BMI, I don't have my phone in here, but my BMI was 35.6 and I'm pretty sure it's still that. My body fat is 39.5. Um, my measurements, I actually took them earlier on this week um, and they are all down from the last time I took them. The last time I took them, my chest was 47.5, my arms were 39.5, my waist was 41, hips 49, thighs 56 and calves 18. And on the 10th, which was three days ago, my chest was 45.5, which has gone down. My arms are 37, again it's gone down um, by 2, my waist is now 39.5, so it's gone down by 1.5. My hips are 46.5 and they were 49, my thighs were 56 and they're still 56. My calves are now 17.3 and they were 18, so everything's going down as it should do. Like I said, my doctor, my surgeon was so, so happy with me and um, he wants my protein ball recipe because it's helping keep me regular and he's looking for all natural ways for telling his patients how to alleviate the constipation issues and stuff like that. Um, but he was really, really happy. He said, I'll see you in six months, he said, and you'll be a lot smaller and they were all telling me how I loved my hair colour and um, how wonderful I looked in my dress today and how much happier I look and I feel a lot better and I feel a lot happier and so yeah, it's it's really, really good and I had a really great day with them and of course my daughter came up and she's, they, I walked in, this is a story, I walked in and I walked up to the counter and the girl goes, oh, you smell so pretty. I said, well, it's not me. It's my little buddy here. And my, I had my daughter's, the unicorn scentsy buddy that she bought me. And I picked it off my bag and I handed it to her and said, oh, that's the 
smell. Oh, my God, that's gorgeous. And, of course, she had it. It's the lady next to her. Beautiful. Took it over to the two girls behind him. So they're all going to be purchasing some sensi stuff from my daughter. And then another um, lady who's going in for surgery in January next year, she is going through the motions now. And she was all excited and sort of, yeah, she's ordering something too. So my daughter got something out of today as well. She came to pick me up and ended up handing out a whole heap of catalogs and all that sort of stuff. So it was pretty good. Um, I know, you know, like I'm, I, like I said, I'm feeling a whole lot better. I mean, I'm only going down in little bits and pieces. The dietitian said, you know, apparently I'm averaging 1,300 calories a day, which I honestly don't believe that I am because, yeah, I, I'm not. I told her that I get 100 calories, just over 100 calories out of each protein ball that I have per day. I guess that I probably do more calories with my breakfast, which I worked out to be, I think it's around about two, 280, 300 calories for my breakfast because I have a half a cup of um, porridge and my protein powder and stuff in there. Um, my surgeon said that 1,300 calories is not a lot. It's actually really good and well within my range. I should be having between 1,000 and 1,300 according to him. So, um, yeah, they're all really happy and they're all really happy for me that they say that I am looking younger. Um, and at the moment, I've been in the hospital the entire day, so I don't look... <laughs> anywhere close to the way I did this morning, but that's okay. Um, I don't know, vagina, that's fantastic, isn't it? I've got one of those, and, you know, you can see that the, the chin's almost completely gone, but I've got this beautiful and clean neck vagina starting to happen, so we love those. Um, I had a good joke with my surgeon showing him my, my wings, which I can't show you because I'm wearing a jumper. It's really cold outside. It's very, very windy at the moment and really cold. But, um, yeah, he's just, you know, just absolutely happy with me losing what I'm losing. And he is, he asked me to talk to the plastic surgeon when I go to see him in two weeks and ask him um, to hold off on the thigh surgery until April next year, which is okay by me because I would rather be at goal weight and have everything taken off and um don't have any more loose skin happening than to have it done now and still lose more weight in my legs and and have it sag again so all good um so that's about it you know it's a bit of a, a later one it's later in the week i mean it's two days late but that's okay and i'm really really happy with my loss from last week to this week which i believe if i'm not mistaken i'm going to have a look um Last week, at week 24, I was 98.1 kilos, and this week I'm 96.5, which is really good. Really happy. I'm getting down there and getting close to that goal, which is 80 kilos for my surgeon. And um, he said that next April we'll be talking about possible skin removals and stuff like that, which I'm good with. But in the meantime, guys... I'm going to let you go because I can't really think at the moment. I've had one of those days where I've just, yeah, it's just been constant, constant, see the psychologist and all that sort of stuff. So I've been through a lot. But I thought I'd come in and let you know I have had a loss. I feel really good. I've been going to the ladies' room a fair bit. So I'm drinking more water, which is certainly helping. So I'm going to let you go. This is way too long. And I will come back at you all next week with my week 26 update. And until then, you all take it easy. Take very good care of yourselves. Stay absolutely beautiful. And I will see you all next week. Take it easy, guys. Bye.